we will present to you our power roadmap, the most important lever for electric mobility. I think we can agree that right now Tesla literally has the highest valuation out of any automotive company out there. Every company which is below Tesla is literally making plans to reach the valuation of Tesla. The biggest difference that Tesla's valuation has compared to any other EV company is their P.E. ratio where they have a price to sales ratio of over 1,000. Meanwhile, other EV automakers have P.E. ratios nearly 100 times less than Tesla. One such automotive company is Volkswagen. Watch till the end of the video to learn how Volkswagen plans to take over Tesla this decade. It all started six years ago in 2015 when Volkswagen got into the enormous scandal for manipulating their vehicles to cheat on emission tests. Ever since that scandal happened, the company has been really investing in its EV program each year. Not only that, but they're also spending a tremendous amount of money on this program to be the leader of the EV revolution along with repairing their reputation. Therefore, Volkswagen has invested in their EV program more than any other company out there, which includes Tesla as well. They've invested more than $89 billion this year alone, and of that $89 billion, $12 billion will go directly to the Volkswagen brand itself. Now with massive investment comes production that is usually the most essential part of any automotive company. Their project plan is to produce 1 million EVs annually by 2021, and then by 2025, they are planning to have a total of 3 million across each and every brand of theirs. In case you don't remember, Volkswagen also owns several really renowned companies such as Audi, Porsche, and Bentley Motors, which are selling great to luxury vehicle consumers. Even though Tesla's valuation is nearly five times more than the valuation of Volkswagen last year, they sold less than one-tenth of the number of vehicles as compared to Volkswagen. In fact, they also generated a fraction of Volkswagen's revenue. Shocking, isn't it? Well, this is because Volkswagen has over 10 different profit lines, while Tesla has only one, and most of its profits actually come from its investment in Bitcoin. Therefore, it is more impressive how Tesla has accomplished so much with their limited resources and type cost. Their CEO, Elon Musk, even went forward and said, while we're losing the battle in share price right now, we're winning the battle in two areas, scale and price. Volkswagen has many streams of revenue, and while the valuation of Tesla implies they're more than an EV company, we believe that the same effect will happen to us when we get priced in for the future with our huge production capabilities. This message has a far deeper meaning. Elon Musk is actually talking about the very cheap prices that they can sell EV cars at now. Now, while Tesla is going to make their vehicles start at the price of 25 grand, Volkswagen has already got it all figured out, making them be ahead of this curve. They already have a vehicle that is quite affordable for the general population. The biggest problem with EVs right now is the number of people they are accessible to because of their extremely high cost and constraints on the vehicles. Volkswagen was very quick to realize the big three issues that they had with their EVs, which included cost, production, and fast charging. Since then, they started to focus on these three aspects and actually managed to do well around the price and production issue. With these two being almost solved, the only other factor that was left was charging. Before we talk about this, we need to understand the huge difference in the amount of time it takes between EV charging and gasoline-fueled vehicles. One of the biggest reasons why Neil's business model with battery swapping is so effective is because of the amount of time it takes to charge and how there is less crowding of people at each charger. This is why the success rate of Volkswagen has been huge in China as this company is spending hundreds and hundreds of money to decrease the time it takes to charge their EV vehicles by a record-breaking amount. At the end of the day, only 2.5% of the vehicles are EVs. In this new market, Volkswagen and Tesla will all own most of the market share and will see a huge growth in these companies. However, what's interesting about Volkswagen is that they own several different brands and as this EV revolution really scales up, all their smaller brands will follow. Before we end this video, we want to know your thoughts on this entire thing. Do you think Volkswagen will take over Tesla soon? And let us know in the comments below which company you prefer. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We will see you soon in the next video.